Hello, Emily from Red Cage here for Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to look at how to show hidden lines on an object uh, behind another one. I get a lot of questions about how to show, let's say, foundation lines uh, beyond uh, landscaping and in detailing. How you're, you're always having to show something as hidden as behind your foundation uh, wall or anything like that. So there's a nifty little tool in Revit that will do a lot of that for you. There's always the you know override by element things like that, but I don't always like overrides like that. I'm gonna take a look at you know a standard you know wall at floor detail, and we've got this anchor here, and you can see that that anchor is dashed. Basically, there's no overrides on this element. I haven't you know right clicked and said override in view by element. Everything is still standard here. So how did I do this? Let me go back to uh, this one here. So this, there's no overrides on this. I've basically placed this anchor. This is a standard, you know, out of the box Revit anchor, and I've placed it. And what I wanted to do is hide it sort of behind these elements because it's sort of beyond. So on the View tab, Revit has this show hidden lines and I'm pretty sure not a lot of people are using it. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to take this object, this anchor, and I'm going to send it to back. So now it's behind all of these elements where it you know technically would be in real life. Um, and I'm gonna go over here to hidden or wireframe so we can see it. And now I'm going to use this show hidden lines. So once I click on this tool, it's going to give me some instructions. Don't forget your instructions in the bottom left here. It says first pick, select element to show hidden lines through. Lines from obscure elements will show through this element. So I want it first to show through my foundation wall. So I'm going to pick my foundation wall. And then I'm going to pick my second pick. Select elements that will show hidden lines. So that's going to be my anchor. So I'm going to pick my anchor now. But I've got a couple other ob objects here that are going to be in the way. So I'm going to do the same thing again. First pick, this is what it's going to show through. Second pick, what's going to show through. Third pick, this one. Fourth pick, that one. So now when I go back to hidden line, I see my anchor, it's hidden, and I haven't had to override anything. So I really like this. Uh, so if you want to see that again, I'm just going to go to another simple detail. I've got the same kind of setup. I've got an anchor. Yes, this may not be super correct. I'm going to select this. Actually, I'm just going to go show hidden lines. I'm going to pick this. I'm going to pick my anchor. I'm going to pick my wall, and I'm going to pick my anchor. Nothing happened, but now I'm going to send to back. And once you send it to back, that's what Revit is going to do in order to show the hidden lines. And last, I'll show this on a little more of a complicated um, object. So this is this is the question I get often. I've got a very simplified house. I've actually hidden all kinds of unnecessary categories here just to uh, make this as easy as possible to see because hidden lines is a scary place or, or wireframe is a scary place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into wireframe here. I can see my foundation and my footings and I want to show them in front or dashed through my landscape here, my topo. So I'm going to grab show hidden lines, first pick, landscape, second pick, foundation wall, landscape, footing, landscape, footing, landscape, I'd have to hit tab there, foundation wall. So I'll do a few of them there and I'll go back to hidden line and I start to see my foundations through my topo, which is the ultimate goal. All right, so show hidden lines. Don't forget about this tool. It's on your view tab and it allows you 
to show obscured items through a foreground object.